how can we quantify the comorbidity between two diseases? So let's take a population of patients N and we look at the number of patients affected by one disease, disease 1. I'm going to call the number of patients affected by disease 1 P1, which is the prevalence of that disease. The number of patients affected by disease 2 we're going to call P2 and that is the prevalence of the other disease. The number of patients affected by both diseases is the intersection between the patients affected by disease 1 and 2. We're going to call this C12. Quantifying the comorbidity between diseases 1 and 2 is asking ourselves how significant do we think this overlap region is given that we know the prevalence of both diseases and the number of patients in the population. One simple way to quantify the comorbidity between two diseases is to look at the relative risk. The relative risk is the ratio between the observed probability of having this, uh, a pair of diseases affecting a patient over the probability of having a pair of diseases affecting a same patient given the prevalences of that disease. That would be our random case. The observed probability of having two diseases affect a patient is the number of times we see those pair of diseases affecting a patient divided by the total number of patients in the population. The random expectation is the product between the prevalences divided by n squared. Hence, the relative risk between diseases 1 and 2 is given by C12 times N over P1, P2. And you can find a discussion uh, of how do you calculate the confidence intervals of the relative risk on the text that you can see on the webpage. This is one way that we can, can quantify the comorbidity between two diseases. Another way in which we can quantify the comorbidity between two diseases is to look at the correlation between them. Because diseases are dichotomous variable, you either have a disease or not, then the correlation a formula simplifies into the following expression. The correlation between diseases 1 and 2 is equal to C12 times the number of patients in the population minus the product between the prevalence normalized by n minus p1 n minus p2 times p1 p2 we say that two diseases are comorbid when the relative risk between them is larger than 1 or when the correlation between them is larger than zero. This is actually, this happens at the same place because if you pay attention into the formulas, uh, the relative risk is larger than one when C times N is larger than P1 times P2 and the correlation is larger than zero when C times N is larger than P1 times P2.